Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, today is kind of interesting. You know, we're less than a week away from the Super Bowl. Well, half a week, really, because tomorrow's already hump day and Wednesday, and thank God uh, I can start eating again. i got my colonoscopy tomorrow got to be there at eight and haven't eaten anything solid for two days. In fact, the only thing I've had is chicken broth and some scrambled eggs yesterday. But uh, anyway, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Got to make sure we take care of ourselves. But today it was interesting because I heard, um, I, I was going through Bleacher Report and all that, and I saw this article that said Cowboys mentioned as a p- potential destination for intriguing free safety agent. Oh, wait a minute. So the Dallas Cowboys, they're talking about us getting a free agent safety? Who, who, what, what, what? So I started going through the article. And in the article, um, let me go through. Having impacted talent always helps the Cowboys now um, have some match of their explosive offense. Michael Parsons is already a star after being selected 12th overall in the 2021 draft. The team also has playmakers like Tra- uh, Trayvon Diggs at cornerback, who has led the NFL with 11 interceptions. <laughs> this defense has building blocks, but could still use some pieces to help them get to the next level. One area that could be used to upgrade is the safety spot. This is where KD Drummond of the Cowboys Wire believes they should look at free agency. If Drummond could pick one free agent for the Cowboys to target, so wait a minute, wait a minute. No disrespect to KJ, K, KD Drummond, Drummond. I follow him on Twitter and stuff. But the way this article is written, this makes you think that the Dallas Cowboys, that Jerry Jones somehow said, we might be interested in this guy or we're looking at safety. The Saints are in salary cap bind, so they could lose Williams in free agency if a team comes up with an aggressive offer. Wilson has been uh, Williams has been a consistent performer, earning Pro Football Focus's grade of at least seventy for five consecutive seasons. Still only twenty six years old. I'm not saying that's not a bad idea. I'm saying that you know. Heck, you know, we all would like to get some better players and things. and Cowboys would go crazy in free agency, but here's the problem. The way this, now, the, the way the person wrote this, and I'm not blaming K.J. Drummond because he basically said, here's a way the Cowboys could, could help themselves. The person who wrote the article about what K.J. K.D. Uh, Drummond said is the one that kind of made it sound like, ooh, the Cowboys are mentioning this. No, they're not. They're not. And this in lies silly season for the NFL. This is now time where it's speculation and ideas come along. And it's cool because there's so much information that goes on, so many things that are said, you know, with the mock drafts, you know, 2056 and, you know, 3.1 and all that, that you're going to get so many different things that are said that really are meaningless. You know, today I heard somebody say that Demarcus Lawrence, that the Cowboys are probably bringing back and they're going to do a pay cut. That they should just pay cut him. Just, just make a pay cut. The only person I can think of that ever took a pay cut from the Dallas Cowboys, I believe, was Doug Free. I could be wrong. Did Sean Lee? Okay, you're right. And Sean Lee. And Sean Lee took a pay cut. The NFL Players Association frowns on players taking pay cuts. They don't like this. We want you guys to make more money, not less. Very rarely do you get a player that turns around and takes a pay cut. No matter where they are, and and the Dallas Cowboys, I remember Adam Schefter, or was it, yeah, I I think it was Adam Schefter that said, or or was it, uh, I don't know, 
But I remember they were saying uh, that Des Bryant, we now have clarification. <laughs> it wasn't Adam Schefter. It was, oh, uh, God, what's the other weasel? Oh, Lordy. He said, we have clarification on the Des Bryant situation. He's going to be offered a pay cut, and he will take it and remain in Dallas. And the next day he was cut. It didn't happen. And here's where it's funny. Because as I hear this, I mean, it sounds great. You know, hey, D-Log, you got a $27 million cap hit. So, you know, let's forget about restructuring it and saying that, you know, we're going to renege on what we said we were going to pay you. We want to pay you less, so we want you to give some money back. I don't know how many people will do that on their job. Mike, will you take less money? How about if I pay you 25% less? Yeah, you basically, you heard that. He said, well, I'll go drive more. Okay, you want to pay me less? Fine. I'm, I, I'm not all in then. I, I'm not all in. And I'm sure you guys wouldn't. The person who, who said that he should take a pay cut, I'm wondering if he'll take a pay cut too uh, because that's ridiculous. Now, I want to bring back something. See, this is where history is always funny because, like I said, this is the NFL silly season for writer, everybody's looking for something to write about, to talk about, and have stuff to talk. Yeah, you just do. It's the NFL silly season. So let's take a look right here. Tyrone Crawford prepared to take a pay cut to stay in Dallas. This was December 31st, 19, uh, 2019. After attempting to rehab a hip injury in the offseason and throughout training camp, Tyrone Crawford was forced to go on injured reserve and have surgery to fix the issue. He's become one of the more underrated players on the team in his absence of certainty, as was certainly felt in 2019. His ability to play tackle in passing situations and defensive end to help the run game was sorely missed. The depth that he provided along the defensive line made him indispensable piece of the rotation. The leadership Crawford provided in the locker room and on the field is a huge reason why the Cowboys hung on to him for so long. After spending nearly the 19, 2019 season on IR, it's possible Crawford could be headed for a new team in 2020. Well, as the Cowboys season came to a close on Sunday afternoon, it appears Tyrone Crawford is angling for another opportunity to lace them up with the Dallas Cowboys. Calvin Watkins is reporting that Crawford would be willing to take a reduced salary in order to stay with the club. If the Cowboys want to reduce the salary of Tyrone Crawford for 2020, he's open to doing that. Going into his final year of his contract, Crawford is scheduled to count $9.1 million against the cap next season. If the Cowboys were to release him outright, they'd save $8 million, just a shade under what Robert Quinn made this year. With only $1.1 million in dead money in the cap, he's one of the few high-priced players they could move on from if they were seeking more cap space to get some other long-term deals done. So much of what his future looks like with the Dallas Cowboys will depend on who's the next coach. Okay. So let's go and let's look at something else here. So that sounds great. Tyron Crawford, yeah, just take a pay cut. Take a pay cut, Tyron. Okay, and here we go. Here's what's funny. So they said $9.1 million was his contract offer, I mean, for that year, right? And he was willing to take a pay cut. Look right here, up here, right here. 2020, he came back. After getting the $10 million, okay, I want you to understand, he played two games of that 2019 season and got $10 million, $10.1 million, okay? So he figured, I'm going to get cut, so, you know, we'll talk about a pay cut, right? But you see what the Cowboys actually paid him? $9.1 million. So for those two seasons, he made $19.2 million, Let's go ahead and bring something else into the mix here. Let's look at the stats. So for tw almost $20 million, those last two years that we held on to him, we got three sacks. We got 17 tackles. We got 
three tackles for a loss, and six quarterback hits. And this is where we said, if anybody would be willing to say, I'm going to take a pay cut, it would definitely be Tyrone Crawford, who was worried about staying in town. If you're D-Law, the guy who said, I'm not getting my shoulder worked on until I get my money, my contract, do you really think that he's going to take a pay cut? You really think now he's going to say, you know what? Uh, it's all good. Here, take some of my – you you are crazy in your head if you believe that D-Law is going to take a pay cut. He's not going to take a pay cut. There's no way he's going to pay uh, – you're not going to take a pay cut. You're not going to take a pay cut. You're not going to take a pay cut. You would just say, you know what? Just release me. I'll go elsewhere. So – that's where we are with this situation. As far as D-Law, this should be kind of one of those examples that you look at and say, the Cowboys have a tendency to hang on to players too long. And the problem with that is, is it becomes too much money. $27 million is too much money for a guy who got Five sacks, six and a half sacks, and three sacks over the last three seasons. We're talking about he already got $44 million for the last two seasons. We add another 27 to that. That's uh, 41, 61, $71 million. $71 million. Wow. For the last, oh, actually, it's more than that because he had the first year of the contract. That's not good, guys. And I think that's going to be the reason why the Cowboys do what they did with DeMarcus Ware. If they could let DeMarcus Ware go, surely they can let DeMarcus Lawrence go. Don't be surprised because the highway is littered with beloved players that the Cowboys have left on the road. And with that being said, I got to get back up here because I got to drink some more of that nasty water for my colonoscopy. And um, you know how we roll. Everybody do it. Can't take my hair. And so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. daddy. 